building. High priestess in the building didn't let my fears kill me. Transmuted my pain in that cleanse in the rain. Found out I was working it and I conquered my demons. I accepted my purpose and the goddess I became. What's up? Big goddess energy in the building. <laughs> this is all signs and I'm going to time stamp it. This is for my singles. We're going to start from Aries all the way down to Pisces and see what's coming in for you and who is coming in for you. Okay, so let's get it. I'm not going to waste your time. And then the monthlies have already been done. So if you want to look at the full month, uh, go to the playlist of your sign and look in there. Um, August is in there and there is an extended to the monthlies, but I don't do extendeds to all of them. Um, that's a lot of, that's a lot of time and effort right now. So, all right, let's get into it. Um, all right, let's see. We got um, Capricorns next. Let's see who's coming in for my single Capricorns. What's going on with my single Capricorns? Who's coming in, right? For my singles. Who or what? Capricorn, you might be a little bit too defensive, okay? No one can come through that motherfucking energy. So, yeah, some of you, some of you are still worried about the ex coming. You're probably true. <laughs> you're, you're, some of you guys are like, no, I don't want the ex. Uh, and you're worried about the ex, but you don't want the ex. Some of you guys are just all into work making that paper. You're like, man, I don't give a fuck about love right now. I'm doing my thing. But you see how she's... She's tending to her garden that she doesn't see the cups up here. You could be so busy with your work and stuff that you don't see love trying to come in. And so you got this judgment to make some decisions because I think you have love here, um, but it's really about you paying attention. Um, some of you are so caught up. Yeah. Some of you guys are so caught up in what the past did that you don't, you're, you're kind of letting it hinder your present. Yeah. what I say? what I say about the, what the past did? See? The past had you all fucked up, um, but I do feel like uh, you are going to be changing. I think you're going to be, some of you guys could be moving. I do feel like love is going to come in in the next couple months, but I think uh, the past has left a bad taste in your mouth, especially if you divorced or had uh, any type of legalities with this person. I think you're just like, no, nah, I'm fucking over this shit. Uh, for some of you, you just might be dealing with legal matters at this time, and I feel like you're preoccupied with that. For some of you, love is probably going to come in your older years. That might be where you you are more mature and have this kind of like love coming in because you're at a different place of your life. I think a lot of you uh, Capricorns are very uh, ambitious. And so you probably are very career driven and love is on the back burner. So if you want love to come in, some of you have to kind of change that. As I see, like you're more focused on your life and your, your career that you're not really putting that time and effort into dating um, because you do have it here, but it looks very minimal, very minimal energy kind of coming in. So yes, I have water sign. I have um, a water sign kind of predominantly. Um, but it could be any sign, but I really feel like your love is not going to come in until you make some decisions to allow it to, and kind of make some time. You got to make some time for it. Okay. Um, 